So this is my first gear video. Um, this is pretty much what am I bringing along on the John Muir Trail and what I bring with me when I go backpacking. Um, hopefully this video won't be as long as some of the other gear videos on YouTube. But um, we'll do a quick rundown of what my system is for when I go backpacking. So right here we have the uh, New Balance Leadville's, uh, the version 3. Um, I love these shoes. They're a nice trail running shoe. They have a big toe box. They have a gusseted tongue, so then that junk gets in there. So, I mean, we got some uh, Dekine gloves, some Windstopper from Gore-Tex. Uh, mainly just for the higher elevations, for uh, wind and keeping the hands warm. Um, pretty lightweight. Next, we have my uh, Feathered Friends. Um, it's a 30 degree bag, wide, 6 foot 6 bag. Weighs about 2 pounds without the stuff sack. So it's probably about 2 pounds, 1 ounce maybe, with the stuff sack. I've taken this bag down to about 15 degrees and was plenty warm, especially just some light layering. Some like leggings and a long sleeve top. It works wonderful. Great bag. Can't say enough about Feather Friends. Awesome bag. Awesome product. Next, we have your Thermarest Neo Air X Lite long version. Um, weighs about one pound. It's very comfortable. Some people complain about the crinkling effects that it has. It doesn't seem to bother me that much, and I'm not sure about everybody else around me, but it's comfortable and not noisy at all. Next, I have my uh, Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2 with um, eight titanium stakes. It's about two pounds, a few ounces. It's a two-person tent, but it's great for just a one person. It allows me to keep all my gear inside. The tent with me, so I don't have to worry about uh, animals chewing through my pack and stuff, or just keep everything nice and dry. Great tent, love it. Packs up fairly nice, it's lightweight. Moving on. I am switching from using a three liter reservoir to just using two one liter smart water bottles. Um, Empty alone, they're about an ounce each. And what's nice about these is that you can use a Sawyer right on here and you can just filter your water fairly easy. And um, you can also use the flip cap to back flush the Sawyer unit in case it happens to get uh, clogged and stuff. So going away from the hydration reservoirs to using these two one liter bottles from uh, Smart Water, they're awesome. Now, we got the best thing yet. This is my new Z Packs Arc Blast 60 liter pack. Um, really excited to use this product. I have a Z Packs rain uh, cover for backpacks I've been using for the past year. It works great. So, I was excited to try a new backpack. This thing only weighs like 18 ounces with the uh, addition of these uh, side pockets right here. They're made out of a Cuban fiber. It's uh, got carbon fiber exterior frame, which is nice. Um, it's, yeah, it's 60 liters, so awesome. My water bottles will fit right into here easily. And then in the pouches, I can keep my snacks for the day, what have you. Got a nice big mesh. Almost, I think it's like eight liters. This will outside pocket will hold. And then I went ahead and upgraded to two top straps for the bear canister, which is not featured in this film because I am renting a barricade expedition, which I'm gonna carry all my 12 days worth of food with me on the John Muir Trail, so I don't have to resupply. I'm planning on doing the trail in 12 days, about 20 miles a day. I'm planning on doing. Shouldn't be that difficult. Next, we're gonna go into the uh, sleepwear system. This little heavy-duty pair of 
wool socks for sleeping at night. Keep the weight down. Then I have a 32 degree heat uh, long sleeve thermal from Costco. Only costs like six bucks and keeps you plenty warm, lightweight. I think it's like around six or seven ounces. Then for a thermal long johns, I got uh, some Reebok uh, Play Warm. They work wonderful. They're a little, probably lightweight. Not silk white, not midway, but lightweight. They work just fine for me for sleeping in. That does it for the sleep system. For a daily hiking shirt, I got these uh, 32 degree cool shirts from Costco again. They dry fairly fast. They're lightweight. It's kind of got like stretchy material. Not quite as good as wool, but gets the job done. Um, bringing one pair of clean boxers to change into um, icebreaker wool comfortable no chafing dries nicely uh, antimicrobial for being wool so keeping the stench down icebreaker boxer briefs cool me being a surfer I like to wear board shorts when I hike so I got a pair of uh, some Rivka board shorts these are uh, just ones to change into when my other board shorts are drying. But I hike in board shorts because they do dry quickly. So I may not even bring an extra pair of board shorts and just wear these out on the trail. I don't like hiking in pants unless I had to. I mean, I've been comfortable hiking in shorts down to like 15 degrees. So board shorts are my, my clothing of choice for hiking in. For socks, just I uh, got these new darn tough um, ankle or below the ankle socks they are wool and uh, it's my first time using darn tough socks to hike in um, they have an amazing warranty it's a lifetime guarantee on their socks so really looking forward to that because in the past I have used smart wool socks and they always seem to wear through on the heel and they don't carry that lifetime warranty or guarantee like the darn tough brand socks do so Looking forward to using these. I have a little Patagonia beanie. It's like an acrylic beanie. It's just for something to sleep in or wear at night when we're on camp. Not wool, nothing special, but keeps the job, gets the job done. Next, I actually kind of say downgraded from a Patagonia torrent shell to a frog togs rain jacket. And um, it's lightweight evenings and cold mornings just sitting around not doing much I have my uh, Patagonia ultralight down hoodie um, it's been great it's lightweight it's been very durable for me um, I enjoy it I enjoy Patagonia they're a fairly good company they um, use they're very eco-conscious about their uh, how they collect their down feathers they don't do the, like the live plucking and stuff so they're a great company I want to support them and uh yeah it's a great lightweight down hoodie probably weighs about nine or ten ounces i'm not sure i'll have a link to my uh gear list with anchor 13,000 milliamp uh backup battery charger um it's a pretty good product has a dual usb Charging outlets has a built-in flashlight right there. Um, haven't really had a need to use that. It's, um, the downside of this thing though is it weighs about one pound. So, but I am not bringing a solar charger like I was planning on this last time. So, yeah, my Anchor 13,000 milliamp backup battery charger. Next is my primary water filtration. This is a Sawyer Mini. Um, like I said, it goes on a smart water one liter bottle, fits on there perfectly fine, you can drink right from it, or squeeze it into another bottle and have a purified water as it is. Um, according to my scale, I think weighs like an ounce, maybe a little bit more than an ounce. So, great water filter for my primary source. For backup water filtration, I'm using these Aquamira water drops. I haven't gone, to, gone around to repackaging these yet, but I plan to just to have a, a backup water filtration system. 
Next is my mini Skelly tool um, from Leatherman. It's got a little carabiner with a bottle opener as well. I'm not really going to be opening any bottles on the trail. But it's got your nail file, some tweezers, um, some scissors. That's pretty much it. Oh, and then it opens up to uh, little pliers. And uh, I mean, it's lightweight. Don't really need much more than this. I mean, I'm not going to be... I mean, I could probably gut a fish with this if I wanted to, but I'm not planning on fishing on the John Muir Trail at least this time around because I am on a time constraint of doing the whole trail within uh, 12 days. Next is my uh, Snow Peak Titanium Spork. Um, only downfall on this one is that it's not long enough like some of the other spoons I've seen. But um, I'm not really doing the Mountain House meals or any kind of freeze dried food for that matter. And you're probably wondering where's my cook system. I'm not doing a cook system on this trip. Just uh, kind of have everything already pre uh, ready to eat. Nothing, no cooking, none of that. So I'll talk more about that when I make my uh, food video when uh, it gets closer to uh, time to go. Next is my uh, Black Diamond uh, Spotlight or headlamp. I think it's the Spot model. I'm not quite sure. I forget. It um, has a little battery gauge right there. It's got a fairly decent bright light. Um, as you can see. And then it has a, an automatic dimming. Or not automatic dimming, but you can touch that button once or that panel right there and it'll brighten it up immediately. Or you can hold down the top button and it will um, dim it to whatever you need. It has a strobe setting and also has a red light for a reading at night so your night vision is not so screwed up. And it uh, uses AAA batteries. Um, gonna bring some extra ones along for the trail. Next is some uh, the Honest Company, some hand hand sanitizer spray. Um, I think we all know what hand sanitizer is for. I'm most likely gonna repackage this as well. Uh, weighs, well, the fluid ounces is two ounces. Probably with the bottle itself, probably around three ounces. So. Find something lighter and probably won't need that much for 12 days out on the trail. Always carry with me is the uh, Tenacious Tape. Um, works great for basically repairing anything you can think of. You can use it to repair your down jacket, your sleeping mat, sleeping pad. You can use it on your sleeping bag or even on, on a backpack. Um, I don't think this will stick though to the Cuban fiber for the Z-Packs backpack. So... Tenacious tape. I don't go anywhere without it. Just some uh, matches that are waterproof case. Also have in there a safety pin for puncturing any blisters that may pop up. But hopefully, I haven't had an issue with that with backpacking in the past. But it's always nice to have. And then lastly, right here is my first aid kit that I kind of customized a little bit. Have my uh, Swedish fire starter right here, like the little, you, you know, you make sparks and stuff. I've had practice with that, so I'm fairly good at starting a fire with that in case I need to, but most of the trail I won't be able to have a fire because I'll be above the correct elevation where it's illegal to have a fire. Right here is a um, toothbrush of mine that I snapped off and sanded down the edge right here, so it's fairly short, weighs less than an ounce. And here I got some, uh, I believe it's ibuprofen or vitamin e I, some people call it on the trail or something like that. Some other um, bandages in there, in a waterproof case. I also have in there some uh, homemade dehydrated toothpaste tabs that I just kind of dotted out on a cookie sheet and let them dry over like a week. And then I kind of coated them in baking soda so they won't stick to each other. Another way that was uh, for me to cut down my weight was that. 